All right, Joseph is going to be our wizard in tonight's D&D game. So he's rolling up his stats. So you need a piece of scratch paper. There you go. So you're going to have like a pool of numbers. So you take out the lowest one. So there's an 11. Okay. Okay, now the next one. Okay, that's a 10. That's not so good. Okay, keep going. Roll some good ones now. Oh, there you go. Okay, there's a uh, 17. That's fantastic. It's very high. Good for you. Okay, and there's a uh, 14. Good. Only two more. Okay, that's an 11. So that's average. Okay. And um, I do allow you, if you didn't get a good roll on your last roll, to re-roll it. You can stick with the last yep. number? No. You can't lose. There you go. There's a 14. That's better. Okay. Good for you. Okay. So, um, and then I have a, a thing, doesn't apply now, but if it doesn't add up to enough, like you just totally bomb out, then you get to completely redo that. So we can't actually create, create you can't, a return. Yeah, you can't be... <laughs> You can't be hobbled. Okay. Um, an idiot savant. You can walk I'm really to, I'm going to have to edit out that you said that. Create a moron. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm so offended. I'm going to make an idiot savant who can walk really good, but that's about it. No, okay. actually, your stats are pretty well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now you assign your stats. Xana can take it from me. Right, it's pregame. I'm feeling a little uh, serendipitous today. That is a real word. Like, look it up. Although I have completely misused it in this context. And uh, so off go Rin and Jordan. They're off to play um, Black Crusade, whatever it is. Yep. And I, I don't want to hear you guys laughing in there. No laughing. It's the grim darkness of the far future, not the happy darkness. All right. So, uh, so I've got my group now. We're in for at least three more sessions till we finish this adventure. And it's going to be... Mike Evans playing yes. the West something. Chester. What's your Warrior. class, though? Class, uh, fighter. Fighter. Okay. Yeah, tank. We have Xana around here somewhere. She's playing a rogue, is what I want to say. And then Joseph, who normally would be sitting in that chair, that empty chair right here, they come. He is playing the wizard, the wizardess, actually. So uh, there you go. There's one in every group. And John playing a ninja, of all things. Kind of a warrior slash rogue. Yep. So uh, there, there is an NPC. There's an NPC fighter. And uh, that's uh, Aeris Movato. So uh, right now they have just entered kind of this uh, weird sort of uh, Aztecian vampire type theme. Bat god. Evil underworld bat god place. And uh, they, uh, okay. yeah, have encountered these um, cursed dolls. Let me show you a picture of what one of those looks like, cool. if I can find it. Yeah, they are. It is a super, really machines. neat thing. Okay, good. There it is. Ooh! They're like two feet tall. They're made out of like bird bones yeah. and feathers and uh, skeletal remains and twine and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I did forget part of the map. So here's the skeleton things. One of them switches places with him as he leans over the edge, teleports him to the bottom of this pit right here. So it's like this long, like 50-foot uh, shaft. So um, there you go. I don't have figures for those guys, but they are really small, so nothing really would be right to scale. And then there is an entry here like that. And that's where they came in from. Okay, so here is, okay here's Pete's Pizza Guy. Come on, guys. Be excited Woo! for Pizza Guy. Yay, emulation. Yeah. All right, show us the pizza. I want to make pizza? sure that it's, it's quality control. Quality. All right, I find your pizza to be satisfactory. Thank really? You. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. It's time for your studio update. Yes, I take time out of my busy day. I give you the greatest gift of all, which is my time, a little bit of my life that I put out there for you. And I know people say, Sean, you're so unselfish. You give and you give. And I'm like, you're right. I do. It must be amazing to be around me. Sorry, what's that? <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> All right, anyway, uh, got some extra special treats for you today. Uh, the first is this. Bum, bum, ba, da, na, 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 na. I just made that song up. Uh, this is obviously the uh, laser cut terrain, and uh, we have uh, we just uh, spray painted it. Really, uh, gave it a little bit of texture. There, uh, this is a mix of the laser cut terrain plus uh, stuff that we had from other various sources, which some of you may uh, recognize. <clears throat> Notably, what I did is I made it into compartmentalized pieces like this catwalk, things that would be a little more solid. And that you could add, you could just set here with no you know connecting pieces, and <clears throat> have it uh, have it work out. So um, this is what we ended up with. You're going to see one maybe two battle reports on this, and uh, we have we do not have pricing up yet for the laser cut stuff. We um, you know it's just still kind of working on packaging that. What are we going to do? Um, you may notice on a lot of them I didn't use the railings, and that's for the sake of convenience. Really, I actually think they uh, work okay without it, but I don't know. This is pretty fancy to have this, uh, you know, extra stuff on there. So uh, we, we may offer both uh, options on there. So there, yeah, come on, tell me that's not inspiring. It's fantastic. Uh, here's the leftovers of our D&D &D game last night, and we had a fantastic time. I, I'm into it now. I'm really stoked. I have a, gr I have a f absolutely, I almost said fantastic again, uh, an absolutely wonderful group. It's uh, Joseph. Well, I introduced everybody, so uh, there's that. It just it seems so long ago that that was happening. So, yeah, we had a good session. I really want to record the entire thing each time, so I'm working on that. I think it would make for good listening. All right, here's John having his lunch. So Kipper snacks? Kipper Why? Snacks Are you off your diet now? What diet? No, oh, okay, you were, were you weren't on a diet? Kipper snacks. I thought you were. Cinnamon and raisin. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. Don't know yeah. how to did, you, now, did you get Kipper snacks at uh, the Hostess store? Nope. No? You just had them? Yeah, yeah Kipper snacks are fantastic. Yeah, well, don't bet on it because I love Kipper snacks. In fact, do uh, you think I could have a bite of one of those? Yeah. Because that looks really super. Yeah. Right, okay, well. Next item, just wanted to uh, remind everyone that this Dark Eldar army is still on the block. We've got a lot of troops. It's three units of Trueborn with lots of blasters. And I do believe, yes, and it's, um, uh, oh, I can say it. It's six units of Kabbalite warriors, uh, small enough to fit in Venoms, two uh, custom raiders converted to, uh, out of Forge World Hornets uh, with Dark Eldar bits and appropriate weaponry on them, ten Scourges. And by the way, this all comes in battle foam, and it comes with a case. And that is what I didn't include uh, or mention. I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the first time around for this, uh, that there is a battle foam case that goes with this. Uh, three Void Raven bombers. They can also be Razor Wing fighters, uh, but bombers is how I run them. Nine Venoms. These are just gorgeous. They've been converted to have Kabbalite warriors for gunners instead of witches. Uh, so that matches up a little bit better. Six uh, Reaver jet bikes and 20 witches. And there is, for the HQ, there is a uh, Duke Sliscus, which makes everything uh, deep strike. Not everything, but it uh, makes skimmers into deep strikers. So a low orbit raid, I think the special rule for that is called. So anyway, the price is in the liner notes. Um, that is limited time, limited quantity. Thomas is enjoying some pizza. Jalapenos. You can really smell those. John's eating kipper snack. It's pungent food day at the studio. I think. All right. Let's talk about that Turan effects. Hey, I want to see I, it. I'm giving it a long neck like a brontosaurus. I ha also okay. have to bend the resin. 
Right, to right, make right. it uh, more realistic. Can you right. pull that out so we can take a closer look at it? Okay, Put a real head down here. <laughs> no, it's actually two heads. It's, there, there, there we go. Okay, that's, that's fantastic. Definitely wow. go with that. <laughs> So, uh, wow, he is really hunched down. Then, so... I'm going to make a stego Stegosaurus-themed one. And... Okay. Great. I have to say, uh, I really like this one. Cool. Uh, I like it about as much as I hate the Turn of the Gods. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how long is the barrel going to be in the end? Well, where, I don't know. Where are That's you going to cut I'm, it? I haven't cut it yet because I wasn't sure. I, I was kind of thinking it could be cool to be, like... Long barreled? Pretty long. Okay. You don't? Yeah, I, I would go about an inch and a... There, there it is. I think oh, that's, that's going to so look about stubby. right. Is it? So I don't think so. I think it looks yeah. about right. I think it looks about right. Yeah, let right. me cut it to there right. right now. Okay. All right. All right, Blue Table fans, why don't you chime in and tell us uh, if we should cut it this length? Or an inch Okay, shorter. no, no, no. Now, now that I see this, I actually think maybe that's not bad. What maybe that's say? not bad. All right. If I okay, cut good. the barrel shorter, then I'll need to cut the tail shorter because clearly it would have evolved to balance out the barrel. Right. Okay. Fair enough. No, I like it. I All think right. that's good. Thank you. So uh, we're getting close on that one. I don't think it's going to be painted by our Friday game, but uh, who knows? <laughs> okay. So you're doing. You're doing. <laughs> okay. You guys missed that. It was. Uh, he said, "Do you want to see my hose?" So yeah, this is uh, peasants with hose. <laughs> Yeah, Brilliant. Got, yeah, I got some. Uh, that's my fantastic. And I got a shovel guy. Right. And uh, that's great. Of course, the pitchfork guys and the right. uh, sides. sides. Great peasant I, rabble. I don't know okay, what are you working this, on? But uh, it's a wolf head. Yeah. Terminator. Yeah, it's not even. Yeah, a you can't really make it out. Wolf okay. Part. But uh, that's yeah, fantastic. Some, uh, some 13th company. Okay. Space wolves. Good for you. And uh, you're making some mycetic spore pods. Excuse me, some alien seed pods. Yes, alien seed pods. Right for uh, for um, like another right project. Okay, great. Yeah, that's those. All right, fantastic. And my project's already out there, Sean. All right. Yeah, you missed it. It's uh, some nurgly terminators and obliterators. obliterators. All right. Th thanks a lot, guys. Yep. So uh, got Josh uh, coming out. Elmo shirt, Josh. Uh, he's coming out on Friday to play me 40k. So my question is, my question is, what oh what a studio army should I use, and what army should he use? He has Tau. I've got uh, the Red Hunters, Blood Angels, Dark Eldar. Um, I might hurry up and finish the Tyranids, but I don't know who they'd be a good match up against. I kind of kind of hodgepodge that army just a little bit. It's missing just a few key elements right now. But, uh, yeah, I really would like to, to use that. And uh, I don't know what else we have offhand. I think we have uh, Iron Warriors. So let me know what you think. Um, kind of on the fence about it all right now. Okay, so a couple of public service announcements. One is, if anything ever happens to my YouTube account or my Gmail account, uh, go to bluetablepainting.com. And uh, that's kind of the safe house for the web stuff. Second is, is uh, Worthy Painting. I want to give a uh, shout out to them. Worthy Painting is actually, what is that? <laughs> Seriously. That's awesome. It was like an uh, elevator I know. Music. I was like, does somebody just turn on music right oh, when we started fantastic. recording? Yeah. There you go. That's what I think of your PSA, Sean. <laughs> Uh, Worthy Painting really is awesome. I talked to Nick uh, a lot while he was setting it up. Uh, in fact, uh, the rumors are true. I did help him get his operation going, gave him encouragement, advice. Uh, Nick really impressed me as somebody who could do it, who would have follow through. So I really wish him the best. Uh, right now he's doing a huge giveaway thing. I think he um, has some kind of thing going with mini wargaming about that. So I'm going to provide links in the liner notes, and definitely go check out Worthy Painting. They're based in the UK, and uh, he's really his work is really fantastic, and I think he has kind of the personal uh, situation and drive to, to see it through.
All right, hey, guess where I am? I'm downstairs with Michelle. Hey. And guess what Michelle's doing? Come on, people, do a little detective work and try and guess what Michelle is up to <laughs> downstairs. Okay, great. So uh, I'm doing a new thing, because uh, I was doing the gallon of paint, and some people were, not some, one. You like that, how one becomes some? So it gave me a great idea. It said, well, why don't you do not a gallon, but a quart? Uh, and so, uh, so I'm going to run with that. So check the liner notes for a link if you want to pitch in. It's a community project, and it's going to be fantastic. Everyone's going to be a part. And uh, you can get a, a little preview vid, too, uh, to see what it is we have going on down here, because it's really spectacular. Oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's been months working on it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Miss. Yeah. Here's Michelle opening a five-gallon drum. All right, folks, check it out. We got a bat rep in process. This will probably take a day or two to get part one up. And uh, so we've got on one side, we have the Creeping Death Army uh, with some of the other Studio Eldar as reinforcements there. Scourges or whatever. Scourges and, and a scour couple yes. units. Okay, and good. Anti-tank. Yeah, How many points? It's 2,000 no. points total. Okay, great. So. It's mostly, it's about 1,300 of those points is the Creeping Death, and only okay. about 700 points of uh, other. the other stuffs to take care of Thomas's problems, such as the Vindicators and his Ironclad Dreadnought. Right. Yes, anti-tank. All right, so uh, what we were talking about earlier was that the Creeping Death Army, which, by the way, is being sold as a lump, uh, it's one thing. It can be expanded on. And uh, David actually recommended that we put in some raiders which for the racks, which uh, can be done as a separate project in case you're looking at that army. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to have a conversion like this floating dais, like kind of like a corpse cart, but the size of a raider with like chains and torture victims and all sorts of stuff on it. So, yeah, that would be, that would be a thing. You'd, getting three of those would really help that help that army out. So anyway, uh, I think I think that's about it for the studio update. All right, here with uh, Shannon, we're going to do a human interest story. Okay, go I don't ahead. know if this is interesting at all. Oh, it is so, interesting. Well, it's really sad. So I have a little dash hound puppy, a little wiener that's dog, the... and he got really sick this oh. weekend. So he was like throwing up and we really just right. were devastated and thought he was going to die. So yeah. he's been in the hospital the last two days, a little puppy right. hospital. So. Little puppy <laughs> hospital. <laughs> oh, that's like so dogs, sweet. Like, this has just been like breaking my heart, so it's pretty right. sad. So, what what yeah. was uh, wrong with him? So, what, what turned out to be the thing? Well, I really my prediction was, was swallowed a Super Bowl. It wasn't. No, it wasn't he that. did eat something he wasn't supposed to, but what it was, was just it? too fatty that he couldn't digest oh, it. Oh no! So it turned into this huge infection, pancreatitis. Oh is what it no! Is. Yeah, that's so, bad. That's that's yeah, uh, like it really almost killed him. Fatal. Had yeah. We have not taken but do you know what he ate? He just ate like some. No, I Some mean, old I have a two-year-old, so everything just ends up on the floor, right. and he sits underneath her for dinner. <laughs> Is that so, where he goes? Yeah, so we're going to have to lock to him out of uh, dinner time now. So. Yeah. No, more, no more junk food for him. Yeah, but I get to go get him today, so I'm leaving in a half hour to go pick up my coffee. So. Which reminds me, can I have a few of your fudge grams? You can totally have some. Okay, Do you like me thanks. a little Sarah's snack corner? <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. snack corner. Yeah. That's great. All right. Hey, thanks, Shane. Hey, this is Janine. Putting some stuff up on the scrapyard today. I think we're going to get um, a Land Raider and some awesome out of print fantasy orcs and goblins and dwarves and then some uh, Necrons. And I think uh, that's it. Okay. So. so check it out. Yeah. Thanks. Check it out. Agnes, what's the last?